What's going on? What is going on? Oop, I just hit the microphone. All right, we are good to go. We're gonna be starting something a little bit different. I'm a very visual person. I am someone that loves pictures. I love images. I need to actually see someone's face or I need to visualize what I'm actually thinking about most of my life, even just storytelling. Even though I was there at the story, I usually look away and I'm actually picturing a lot of things before I actually say it. That's how my brain works. So we have an iPad down here. We got a little Apple Pencil and we're gonna be going over how to wake up early. This is one of the top questions I get all the time. A lot of people actually message me and they're like, you're crazy, how do you do this? Why do you do this? And obviously that's really where it starts is that why are you actually waking up early? And we're gonna go over it. So you have to actually reverse engineer for when you actually are going to work and what you're gonna be doing from when you wake up to actually when you are getting to work. Like what are you gonna do? And, and that's one of the main reasons why people don't wake up early because they wake up early and then they're like, okay, what am I gonna do now? I'm just gonna go on Instagram, I'm just gonna go on Facebook, I'm just gonna go on YouTube. So they wake up at five and then they do absolutely nothing till 8.30 or nine o'clock whenever they go to work. So there's no point in actually waking up. They have no why, they have no reason, all right? So say you wanna to get to work at 8.30, 8, 8.30, right around there. You know, that's the easiest way to actually do it is reverse engineering. And then between the time that you wake up, say it's five, you know, or it's six, it doesn't matter. What are you gonna do? What are the things that you're gonna do? So you're obviously gonna have breakfast, okay? You're gonna pro definitely take a shower, okay? Hopefully go to the gym, all right? So these are things that are mandatory, okay? Then there's other things like I'm gonna read, I'm gonna meditate, I'm gonna journal. You know, there's just a lot of things that you could supplement in there. These are just as optional as anything, okay? The, like, are people going to want to journal and read and visualize and meditate? No, okay? So this is as optional as anything else. And the problem is, is that when it's optional, it doesn't get done. Simple as that. You're obviously going to have breakfast. You're obviously going to shower. And hopefully, you go to the gym, okay? So for me, this is the best way that I do it, is that if I'm getting to work at 8 o'clock, I have to reverse engineer that I'm doing three workouts this morning. Okay, so three workouts means that I actually had to be up at 4.43, 4.45, okay? I had to be out the door at five. I had to be at the gym at 5.30 and on the bike by 5.40 to then be at gym class. So this is on the bike, that's my first workout. We'll just say plus one. Um, 6.45 is my gym class, that's the second workout and then that's done and then on the bike and done by eight o'clock and then so we'll just say done what i'm doing is saying okay this is not optional that's not optional i am going to do that okay okay so if i'm waking up at 4 40 how many hours of sleep? Okay, whoever says you don't need seven, eight hours of sleep, you do need seven, eight hours of sleep. I know, because by the time I get to Thursday or Friday, I'm exhausted, I'm not productive, I have no motivation, I don't wanna to go to the gym, and I'm working out seven days a week for this triathlon that I'm training for. So I know that if I reach Friday, my Saturday workout is gonna blow, my Sunday workout is gonna suck, and then I'm gonna crash either Saturday afternoon or Sunday afternoon, and then that's gonna go into the following week. How do I know this? Because I tried it, okay? This is the thing, is that nobody tries anything. You just, you just hear something and then you say, okay, you know what? I'm gonna wake up at 5 a.m. But then when you wake up at 5 a.m. To, to 8 a.m. when you go to work, what are you gonna do? Well, I'm gonna go on Instagram, I'm gonna go on Facebook, I'm gonna, everything that you don't need to do. So if I'm waking up at 4.40 a.m., I'm reverse engineering and saying, okay, 4.40, which is 3.40, 2.40, 1.40, 12, 11, 10, 9, 40 is seven hours, 8.40, 8.40 p.m., so I'm going backwards, 8.45, 8.45 p.m., the day before is eight hours, okay? So from there, you say, okay, for me to be in bed at 8.45, I actually got home around eight o'clock or 7.45 last night. Okay, and then from there I said, okay, I got home at eight o'clock. 
What did I do immediately? Okay, no phone. This is the number one hack I can tell you right now is that when you have blue light in front of you, it doesn't matter if it's your TV, your iPad, your cell phone, when you have a phone in front of you, your circadian rhythm is not turned on because your body thinks that it's still broad daylight. It doesn't know that it's, it's orange light. We didn't, we didn't exist in houses like we are right now. We didn't exist in buildings where there's blue light everywhere just emitting onto our skin. We, we were outside, we knew when the sun went down as long as it wasn't cloudy, and then we just went to bed. And that's the thing is that it, our body knows, okay? Circadian rhythm. So that's the thing is that there's no phone, okay? When I say no phone, I mean it's away from me, it's on airplane mode, and it's not my alarm. It's not next to my bed, it is in the other room. When, I, when, it's, when it's completely away from you, dude, alarm clocks are $8, $10. Pick up an alarm clock, set it at the same time. It doesn't matter what, you know, my workouts change every single night. So eight o'clock, so this is the reverse engineering that I'm talking about. Most people say, okay, I wanna wake up at five, okay? But most people don't know, A, what time to go to bed. And then when they go to bed, are they actually in bed? Or are they on their phone? Are they reading? So I know that I need at least 45 minutes to an hour of just complete silence. As Brian Johnson talks about, he says it's known as um, uh, something, uh, all electronics are off, okay? He has a name for it, you know, something shut down, you know, electronic shutdown. So I have no phone. So from 8 to 8.45, I have to get my gym bag ready. I have to obviously brush my teeth, wash my face, you know, just like uh, toiletry things, okay? This is the thing is that I only have 45 minutes. So during that time frame, I'm also getting my body ready, um, undressing, getting into my bed clothes. I, and, and the reason I'm saying this is if you are still in your clothes, you are not actually getting ready for an 8.45 p.m. shutdown, okay? And this is the thing, most people say, how do you go to bed at 8.45? My why is this. My why is 4.45. My why is not what time I can go to bed. My why is I need eight hours of sleep. My why is saying that if I don't get eight hours of sleep, I'm gonna crash by Friday, okay? My why is that if I do get eight hours of sleep and I do wake up at 4.45 and I do my three workouts, which are right here, if I do those three workouts, then essentially, guess what happens? I'm actually going to be very successful during the day, okay? So I, the best way to actually um, parlay this into how it's good for you guys is, let me just uh, clear out of this, because you have to understand is that you first work backwards from the time you are going to work then what you are going to do to do from when you wake up to when you go to when you go to work okay this is sleep okay then you have the time you go to bed okay and then you need 1 hour before that to shut down all electronics electronics your tv your phone your body, get everything prepared. This is most important, prep for the next day, okay? So when you literally wake up right here, you go right into what you need to do, which are the basics. I already went over that for me. It's the gym, it's breakfast, and it is of course going to work and, you know, showering, you know? So I hope this helps, you know, I, I don't, I don't know how to um, really give you your why, but I do know that you don't have to wake up at 5 a.m. You don't have to wake up at 6 a.m., but you do have to understand how to do that. When you have a flight, you're waking up at 5 a.m. When, you, when you're going somewhere, you're going on a trip, you're waking up at 5 or 6 a.m. It's not that challenging. It, why? Because of what I just said. What is your why, okay? What is your why? Do process oriented, that's the only way. Don't, don't do the outcome oriented. Today, I snoozed my alarm twice because I woke up at 12 because I didn't, I ate when I got home, which wasn't good, but I put 
1200 calories into a swimming regimen. So I got home, I ate too much, it was too late. My body was digesting, I woke up at midnight, then I couldn't sleep for an hour and a half. Then I re-woke up at my 4.43, or actually 4.15, snoozed it twice, then got out of bed, but I still had this and everything else prepared. So if you guys have any questions, leave in the comments below. I know that was a lot longer than I expected to actually do it, but if you like this new little uh, way of visualizing how I get up and everything else, let me know in the comments below and any comments, questions. Have an amazing day.